What's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. We're only going to be talking about Destiny, okay, and Freddie Gibbs. That's all we're going to be talking about in this video. If you know anything about them, let me know down in the comments below. And always, always do this. We are going to get straight into this tea when I tell you the expose. All right. Now, y'all already know Destiny Cream. She's a porn star, okay? Now, she is saying that she is pregnant with... Um, Freddie gives his baby, yes, and they have been in a relationship before, okay, nothing recently right now, and this is Freddie Gibbs, okay, now, as of now, he has not said anything regarding the statement she's about to make, now, she goes on Twitter and says, so, y'all remember when I dated Freddie Gibbs, right, well, let's talk about it with the popcorn and eye emojis, all right, now, she goes on Twitter, and she, somebody asks her, at what point did you know your relationship was over, she says, when he got me pregnant af after, us mutually wanting a baby and then told me to get an abortion at his old age with the audacity. When I tell y'all she went in, she went in. Y'all can pause to read everything, okay? So, I'm like, okay, you really need to take this seriously because I can't do my effing job until you stop passing this affection to me. Finally, he took his prescription. But I say, all that to say, do not let narcissistic people gaslight you. At first, he was cool with my job. So, right here, she basically letting everybody know at the time when they was messing around... He didn't care that she was a porn star. That she, he didn't care that she was in that type of field, okay? Now, right here, y'all can pause to read the rest of what she said. She had put this out, running a sale for the first 100 people to join. I ain't gonna lie, her kitty cat like a goody. All right, now, this is some um, text messages between Freddie and her. Y'all can pause to read this. Um, I want to have a baby with my wife um, and a family. I want to welcome that baby to both his parents, blase, blase. Now my baby being one cent, he's joking over here, um, talking about Penny is the name that they was going to name the boy if they had a boy. Crazy to think about it, and you know, it goes on and on. Make sure y'all read, pause to read, okay? Now she also says, fast forward to November when we went out for his friend's birthday and we came home super drunk. But we would say stuff like this to me even sober. This was November 25th, the night I got pregnant. We freaked around like six times this day. Laugh out loud. I'm about to show y'all the video clip of this, what she's talking about. What? I love you. I love you. I'm tired. I want to marry you. One day. I mean, here he's telling her he loves her, wants to marry her. She's beautiful. You know, regular, degular stuff that, you know, people say to each other when they're in relationships and they're really in love. But there's a lot of people out here that be playing in front and y'all like a whole persona and they really don't be feeling like this all right now this is the time when she was a whole porn star so i don't know you know he didn't care clearly he still was dealing with her people asking her why did you keep his baby this is her response because this is my baby too this is a baby we literally planned my heart was in it i'm pro-choice but i cannot go through the procedure knowing i purposely bought this baby here my child will be taken care of regardless so she is keeping her baby and saying f it right all right now somebody says i don't know if you saw but the girls want to know why were you paying his phone bill at his extra large age I have no idea why I was doing that stuff. This is probably the most embarrassing part of the whole thing. Yeah, that was weird. Um, also, somebody says, why the F would y'all go to Buffalo knowing Freddie beefing with Benny? She says, I had zero idea these two grown men were beefing. Life of my butter. Freddie knew. He didn't inform me. He asked if I wanted to go to the barbecue. I said yes. The rest was history. All right. Now, if y'all want to look up Freddie and Benny beef. Go look it up. All right, now, somebody says, Dag, she the third baby mama. She said, uh-uh, I'm the fourth. <laughs> now, I guess Freddie blocked her. Um, she said, I guess I hit a nerve. Um, I don't care what set you rep, what God you believe in, or what you stand for. You don't procreate life with someone and then ghost them. That ain't right. Exactly. Y'all going raw dog. Y'all both know what's going to happen, all right? Um, you messing it up for the real girls that hold it down for trying to expose a guy. She says, I'm not exposing anything. Um, exposing would be leaking our sex tape or doing some lame stuff like that. I held it down for him long enough and got no loyalty in return. But men and women go through it all the time. We always get used. You never appreciate it, right? 
Now, y'all can pause and read everything over here, but I'm going to read a little bit of what she says. I made that thread so y'all won't be confused when this interview drops later. So, an interview is about to happen. I do not know where she's trying to go with this, but we shall see. I'm not coming on here to down talk Freddie. As you can see, it's all facts with receipts. Coming on here lying about him will be a different story. Now, y'all can pause to read the last of this receipt, okay? Because we about to move on to the next. All right, now, she also says he never checked on me after, said the procedure, never called to confirm if I went through with it. I just simply never heard from him again. I get there, and the doctor lets me know I'm closer to 12 weeks, and I saw our little baby moving around, and I knew then that I couldn't go through with it. After we broke up, I turned his phone off because I was paying his phone bill. So she's letting y'all know there. Now these are receipts. Um, okay, Destiny, I love you. We don't have to go. Um, we don't have to do this anymore. But let's handle um our situation, whether you have the child or not. I love you. I'm here. Blase, blase. Pause and read the rest. Also, um, he said, well, adoption is out for me. He's not with the adoption. If we have a child, I'm going to raise the child. So he basically let her know, you know, popping his stuff, saying that he's ready to be a dad and all type of stuff. So basically, you know, a lot of people, I don't know, man, yeah. I need, I needed to get home, find out how far along I was. So I flew home. A couple weeks went by when Freddie got home from Australia. We talked again in person. He was telling me how he wasn't ready for a child. This and that. Whole time, I'm just confused. Because, yeah, because y'all had a conversation before that. Now, she says, I'm so confused at this point. Because have we not been talking about having a baby for the last eight months? Oh, well. And some more receipts, okay? He says, I miss you. No, that's not the case. I've definitely been trying to soak up this time and um and be off the phone, though. And the situation is a tough me. Pause to read the rest. December 12th came around. I took a pregnancy test that was very faintly positive. I was supposed to get my period December 13th. So I was right around four weeks pregnant when I found out. So right here, she's basically letting y'all know around the time when she took a pregnancy test. Um, It was around December 12th, okay? Add it up. Now, I'm going to just put my two cents in this because we about to wrap it up the video is about to be over there's a lot of debbies out there. there's a lot of debbie moms and dads out there okay a lot of people will be in relationships and they say they ready for a baby knowing they not really ready for a baby a lot of people tell the person what they want to hear if a female if the guy think the female really want a baby then he's gonna be down for it, even though he's not mentally ready or the female probably don't want a baby and he want a baby it's, it's it's vice versa it could be any way it could be any scenario okay but, like I said, exposing a person online, um, deadbeat this and deadbeat that, let them be a deadbeat. Just do what you have to do as a mother. Period. What are you doing stressing yourself over somebody that doesn't clearly want to be a parent right now? Yes, y'all both lay down, y'all both made that child, and it's both of y'all responsibilities regardless of anything. I don't care if the person said they're not ready or not. If you decide to go raw dog and some cootie cat, then you gotta be you gotta deal with the you gotta deal with the responsibility that comes with it, okay? And that's just my take on that point blank and period, okay? Now a lot of us single mothers is out here, we doing the dang old thing, okay? It's not that hard. You just do what you gotta do and that's it. Nothing is easy and life is a struggle on its own. So, of course, when you have a baby with somebody, you will want to have the family thing going on. And you will want something positive to come out of that. Nobody really wants to be single parents out here. We don't choose to. We just decide to. That's it. But anyways, I love y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this. Any single moms or dads out there, let me know how y'all situation is down in the comments below. And what did you do to move on from it, etc., etc. Let me know. I love y'all. And until then, toodaloo.